Oh, here you go. It's already going. There's no more motherfucking brother here. It's a fast Oh, shit. Again. Just come to think. I was uh, reading an article today, and they was talking about, uh, you know who Grandmaster Flash is, don't you? Yeah, I know the wicked ass motherfucking nigga, the big, the, the buff one. But they said that he did not rap nor produce or DJ on any of the uh, any of those albums. He was just a money man. They the said Grandmaster Flash was was just a title. It wasn't even a person originally. Right. They said he was not on a single album, and he got all the money, he swindled everybody. Oh wow! I he, think that's the built dude. I just think that's the built dude. Yeah. He's, buff, he's buff right now. Yeah, he probably is. No, I don't think that's the built dude. You don't that's, think that's uh, the built dude? I should know better. I, I used to. Grandmaster Flash. Wow. Because he had Melly Mel well, and. Because uh, those motherfuckers are still on top. They still making well, mad money. Well, they said Grandmaster money, Flash was on top. He said he was <laughs> robbing them all. Right, right. But now they just got in court and, and they got permission to use the name. Was it Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five? And the Furious Five, right. I used to love that shit back in the late 70s. And, he, and everybody think he was the greatest rapper ever, and he didn't rap right. on a single song. Right, right, right. He didn't even never even And that's rap. kind of funny you mention that. I wouldn't know who Grandmaster Flash is. I, I don't look at it as a group. Yeah. You know? That's weird. I don't know why I brought it. I just... Yeah. Yeah. Give that me something kind to of, look in on. Yeah. Well, this is for you, Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. Am not I even he that brought them out of bondage? But they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsel. Yeah, so these fools, they despise the Lord's counsel. It, everybody comes up, the majority of people that we talk to, they got a problem with us. It's not they don't have a problem with us. They have a problem with this book, the with the word. The Lord. It's like when I get on YouTube every day, I check my messages. Now I would say a good 80% of the, the comments are negative. It's always, I don't know if it's that high. It's pretty high though. Oh, I believe it's high. There's a lot of negative comments, you know what I mean? I believe it's that high. And most of the negative comments come from Bible believers too. Yeah. Well, so they be claim they believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Lord, have mercy. Look at that over there. Pull thou off then the hair of thy head, and cast all evil upon them, for they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. Yeah, they have not been obedient unto the law. That's what we've been talking about all day. You got all these faggots out here, transvestite. I mean, they don't give a damn about the law. Not just, not one, they don't care about one iota of the law. You know? I mean, they just go all out, just faggots, transvestites, bestiality, adultery. Ooh, ooh. You get everybody eating swine's flesh. Everybody, you know, everybody. everybody. Cut your ass out if you don't eat. Yeah, they look at you like every time we talking to somebody, when we say that we don't eat uh, pig, then they brag about it. Oh, right, 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 making right. so tasty. Right, right, right. Here you go, bro. This is Ecclesiastes 15 and 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. Oh, that's those Christians, they'll use a, they'll say we're allowed to sin. They don't make any sense. Oh, oh, I can fuck my sister now? Well, yeah, they said the law is done away with. But then they'll try to say, well, the only law we gotta follow is the Ten Commandments. <laughs> and I thought the law was done away with. Which one is it? Where did it say the only thing we had to follow was the Ten Commandments? So like he said, that means we can fuck our sister, right? Yep, yep, yep. yep. I can marry my mother. Yep. You That's can marry right. your mother and... Let them Jews do that. Let them Jewish people do that. That's what they do. They fuck their kids. They do that too. That's what they do. That's they fuck a, their children. That's how they have a... Uh, become a man in the so-called Jewish world, you gotta get raped by your own father. Your own daddy. It's a passage to manhood. Mama and daddy. You Jewish motherfuckers from five. They suck their baby's penis when they're born. They circumcise them. They suck their baby's penis. Just like Vice News did a story on the Jewish bathhouses. Did it? You didn't see it? No. Hey, it wasn't a video, it was an article. Okay, no, no. All you gotta do is get on Google. Get on Google, type in Vice. Vice News Jewish bathhouse pops right up. Boom! Rabbis raping children in the ass in bathhouse. Okay, I wonder why they don't make a video though. 
That's some weird shit. I don't shit. Know, You don't want to see that video. Well, yeah, right. They probably don't. They probably didn't like. Yeah, they didn't let them have yeah, cameras. They yeah, they the so-called Jews. Yeah, they don't like These cameras. These motherfuckers got some foul spirits in there. Oh my. <laughs> oh no, it's Elon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got some bonus. <laughs> He's going bowling. You never know, man. They gonna fly away in their vim. What's that called? The, the Hindu UFO, the vim, the vim. Oh yeah, uh, the vim, vim, the vim omna or something. <laughs> I was just watching some documentary on this. That's why Jake said came up with that one. Well, there was Jake's. you got Jake scattered down there. There's a lot of Jake's over there. That Krishna, they said Krishna flew around in a UFO. Yeah, that's why Jake's. And, came and they got blue there. skin. They got blue skin, bro. They actually got their picture, the pictures of it too. And they said even they were shooting nuclear missiles and everything. <laughs> and that shit was written. They tried to say. The, 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 uh, the Mahabharata and the Rig Veda and all that, they try to say that it's like uh, 3,000, 4,000 years old, whatever. They, it, that shit was not written down to the 4th century AD. That's a fact. It was not. So that, that the Bible is way older than that shit, man. You got that motherfucker right there? Yeah, <laughs> dumbass right there. Dumbass. Let's see if you say something about this. Duh, no, ignore it. <laughs> this is um, second Ezra 1 and 9. Don't say nothing. How, how long shall I forbear them unto whom I have done so much good? Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. All the nations have I destroyed before them and in the east I have scattered the people of two provinces, even of Tyrus and of Sidon and have slain all their enemies. Just like, um, I'm, that's Joshua, right? Yeah, and Josh, all that slaughtering of the kings he did. Yeah, I mean thousands. Hung, hang them from the trees. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean thousands. I mean he, yeah, he slaughtered he all those nations. I mean all the kings. I'm just saying the kings. Yeah, king, he killed the king. A bunch. It was a bunch of them. And he hung them from the tree. Yep, every last one of them. All of them. <laughs> that was bad, man. Um, and um, what's his name? And um, and judges, Gideon. He had another name too. He did a lot. he did similarly the same kind of thing too. I think it was Gideon. Gideon, Gibeon, Gideon. Yeah, Gideon. Yeah, he had another name too though. Um, all the nations have I destroyed before them, and in the east I have scattered this people of two provinces, even of Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all my all their enemies. Speak thou therefore unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord, like what we're doing. I led you through the sea. And in the beginning gave you a large and safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. I gave you light in a pillar of fire. That's the so-called that UFO. That's that bad, that's bad. I gave you light in a pillar of fire and great wonders have I done among you. You know, that's why I was just reading this uh, yesterday, actually. That's that's when I did, what's at the end of a... Uh... Right here. Oh, yeah, that's what, okay. I was, yeah, I've been reading Apocrypha for a lot lately. Um, I gave you a light and a pillar of fire and great wonders have I done among you. Yeah, man, apographer, man. I'm telling you, man, it, it, I see why they took this out the Bible. I see why. You just read it, man, just randomly. Read it randomly. And the most high have you, like, tripping. <laughs> you like, God. God. And that's why I like the apographer, because it's, it, it speaks a lot of the Mount Wilson's anger. Yeah. He's pissed at Israel. And you don't want to be on your house bad side. Trust me. Thus said the Almighty Lord, the quails were as a token for you. I gave you tents for your safeguard. Nevertheless, ye murmured there, and triumph not in my name for the destruction of your enemies, but ever to this day do ye yet murmur. Where are the benefits that I have done for you? When ye were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did ye not cry unto me? Saying, why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? This is a nigga for you. Yeah, because Israel always complaining. Right. It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in this wilderness. What kind of shit? And they said that after they went to see miracles happen. Hey, they gonna say they would say the same thing about America's people would rather to, to them 
uh, teaching his Bible is, is like a is like a torment to him. Doing the work of the Lord, that's a burden to him. Mm -hmm. So they'd rather be a part of this world and the easy, serve the devil. The easy way out. They take the easy way out. Mm -hmm. They can't walk that straight gate. I should get that straight. They can't, what's up, man? They can't walk the straight path. That motherfucker cleaner than a motherfucker. No way. <laughs> Let me, get that real, let me get that real quick. That's some weird shit. Uh, Matthew 7 and 13. Enter, enter ye in at the straight gate. Difficulty. Yeah, difficulty. Straight, two straights. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there, excuse me, and many there be which go in thereat. That's a tongue twister. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few be there, few be that find it. <laughs> yeah, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which yeah. leadeth to life. One at a time. And there be few to yeah. be to find life. Only few find the life, mm -hmm. the everlasting life, the truth. When we pray to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, we part of that few. Yeah. 144,000. Out of a million Israelites, <laughs> if not more. Yeah, you people know, can't. If not more. Yeah, they, it's too, they, like you said, they always take the easy way out. Easy way. Hey, everybody want to take the easy way. Just like yep. on that movie, The Matrix. You watch that movie, The Matrix. There's that character, his name was Cypher. The bald-headed dude with the glasses. Right, right, right. And they, they pulled him out. Uh, he was linking up with the agents, and he, and he told them just to put him back in The Matrix. Wow. He said, make me an actor mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Then he said, "Ignorance is bliss." Want to go back in? Yeah, he wanted to go back in the bliss, goddamn bliss, matrix. Bliss is like, uh, how you? Bliss, bliss. You can look it up. Right, I'm look. I'll look. I got this. Right that here. word bliss is bad. I got it on my phone. Well, I got a. I like to bring my big. Okay. Well, you, problem, problem. you carry that big motherfucking mouth with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. Well, motherfucker. You can't wait to hit somebody with the motherfucker. It's the best. Get this on camera. That Bible is not somebody. <laughs> American Harris. Knock the motherfucker out. American heritage. <laughs> That's my favorite dish. That's better than Webster. <laughs> Bliss. Bliss. We found this at the my brother found this at the thrift store for like a dollar, two dollars. You know what I mean? You know what's crazy? Uh, it's like it's like nine hundred thousand people in Columbus, Ohio, and there's only like four people doing the work. Oh yeah. I mean, great one. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's over a million here. Well, they say not yeah, right. they, they, they Metro. Include the, they, include they don't the, count the suburbs. Right, but including the suburbs, it's way it's over a million. It's yeah. way over a million. Yeah. Way over a million. But that's a good point, though, you made, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. right. Well, only, well, what about comfy people? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put it this way. That's doing the work of 100. <laughs> yeah. That's doing it 100%. Don't hold no back. We don't edit no videos. We don't. The bitch say uh, y'all y'all talking too rude. Can y'all can y'all turn it down? Oh, even, we oh, don't yeah. turn it down. Even though I called uh, <laughs> Margaret Singer, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> right, right. And it's still going up. It's still <laughs> How many people is the horseshoe fit? One hundred and twenty thousand. Nah, they had um, Michigan's at one sixteen, and they like they like I think 8, 000, They they just a little bit under. It's like, bit. It might be one hundred twelve now. Yeah, because Michigan. Yeah, when the, I, when the horseshoe I, stadium. The, the Horseshoe Football Stadium, Ohio State Football Stadium, holds more people than most cities. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That place is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. One day they're going to be there cheering, rumbling. They're going to hit that high decibel level. That bitch going to rumble. Ooh. That would that be awesome? Oh, God. We're going to see it. <laughs> to see it, man. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Hell yeah. But you're right. That's bad, though, man. Think about it. We the only ones in this. This is a major fucking city. Yeah, it's huge. It's a major city. Everybody I was just listening here to the radio the today. They said uh, Columbus is one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. That's right, one of the fastest. I read the same shit. I was listening to NPR. I was one listening. One of the fastest growing. Yep. It's like in and the you top can, five. You can tell it's fastly growing because go try, go try driving from 3 p.m. to 6 or 7 p.m. All that congestion. You ain't getting nowhere. All that congestion. You just the streets is congested. You can't fucking drive nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then half the people you see now is foreigners, mm -hmm. motherfucker, Muslims, Hindus, Hamites everywhere. Hamites, Chinese people, all manner of heathens. <laughs> I'm gonna get that definition for bliss. Hey, they're here to get destroyed. They're here to get destroyed. But they think they're coming here to prosper because they got a they got a bad Africa. Oh, here we go, bliss. 
Bliss means extreme happiness. Let me read your scripture. What scripture oh, was you reading? I, it didn't say bliss. I quoted Cypher from the Matrix. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> it's bliss in scripture. Let me uh, yeah, it do. I'll do a word search on it. I got my phone. Let me look it up. Yeah, yeah. That might be one, huh? I bet you there is. I bet you there is. Because I think I remember reading it, man. I didn't get nothing. You didn't get nothing? Maybe there's a something similar to it. But let's read Because that's right. what people say. Like he said, nobody wants to walk the straight gate. Everybody wants to take the easy route. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They can't walk that path of difficulty. Right. Because like that dude on the Matrix said, he said, put me back in the Matrix. He said, ignorance is bliss. Right. So that, Pastor Porkchop, he's taking the easy way out. Yep. You know, Pastor Porkchop can't come out and do this. And ignorance yep. is bliss. That's actually a famous old saying. Mm -hmm. Been it around is. for a long time. Yep, yep. Ignorance it's is bliss. bliss. Yep. It's and, very common. And bliss means, the meaning of the definition of bliss is extreme happiness, joy. Oh, you got scriptures on that? Extreme, get the extreme happiness scripture. Now, we ain't talking about regular happy, we talking about extreme happiness. Wow, wow. Extreme happiness, joy. The ecstasy of salvation. Spiritual joy. Yeah, they don't, I don't know what kind of salvation you're going to get with that. <laughs> here, here you go. Oh, um, bliss. Ecclesiastes, I'm just going to start at, um, I'm going to start at one, man. Ecclesiastes 7. A good name is better than precious ointment in the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men. The living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. Sorrow is better than laughter. Bliss, huh? <laughs> what about the sadness of the countenance of the heart? Of the heart is made better. The heart is wise in the house of mourning, but the house, the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Right, the house of mirth. So yeah, so ignorance, hey, that's what it means. The fool, what is a fool? A fool is somebody that ain't got no knowledge. Oh, what's up, bro? So when people say ignorance is bliss, ignorance means uh, with ig without knowledge. It without knowledge, without gnosis. Because it comes from the word, ignorance comes from the word gnosis, which means knowledge. So ignorant, actually the word ignorance means the same thing as agnostic. People always say they are agnostic. They are agnostic, that means against knowledge. The ignorance means without knowledge. Pretty much the same word. You know what I'm saying? So these people without gnosis, they get ain't we got all the gnosis. You know what I'm saying? We, we come with the prognosis. We ain't got them degrees. We prophets coming with the prognosis. We get the pre-knowledge. We know what's going to happen before it happens. Right. Damn right. That's right. You Say it. Sir? We saying it before it happens. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> we got to have an associate or a math or a bachelor's or a master's or a doctrine for these people to accept truth. Man. Well, we are doctors, though. That's right. Doctor yeah. means teacher. That's right. So we doctor and we dictate. That means the same. Dictate comes from the same word as doctor. To teach, it comes from the words desere, which means to speak, is actually what it means. And we're speakers. They, that's even a Spanish word, what, desero? How do you say I say in Spanish? Yo digo? Something like that. Well, it means I speak. We out here speaking. Damn it. That's why you gotta get in the meaning of words. You gotta study words. Second uh, Timothy 2 and 15 says, study to show thyself approved. And that dictionary, that's a bad book. That's an awesome book. You gotta get in that dictionary and just read it. Just read it, yeah. That's nice. What else better to do? Yeah, stop watching those porn videos. <laughs> read the Bible and the dictionary. <laughs> yeah, that's what they be doing. Stop playing Call of Duty, man. And just mentioning the word porn makes these motherfuckers want to go watch some bestiality or some shit, man. Just mention the words. It does. I can't wait to get home now. <laughs> I got cum stains all over his computer screen. Check this out. I was, I <laughs> Keyboard was, all dried up, no work, no nigga to jet it all Well, in. check this out. But back in the day, and I, I don't know if this is true, but that's why I, was, I, I didn't really research it in depth, but I researched it just a little bit. Back in the day, you had two tape formats for movies. You had Betamax and you had VHS. Jesus loves you. He doesn't love you. <laughs> so, you, do you know why VHS won out against Betamax from what I hear? Because of porn. Because VHS, it, it had all the porn. 
I'm not surprised. But that, that was just one factor. I There's many factors that contributed right, to right, the downfall right. of Betamax. But well, one of them was... Too. I remember Beta too. Somebody said Sony didn't want to license porn or something. Right. I don't know if that's true or not, though. But I wouldn't doubt it. Because you used to go into the video store, the tapes. You young bucks don't know nothing about Blockbuster. Well, Blockbuster didn't have the porno section, did it? Mm, uh, well, all, other video places All the local did. stores. It was right, right, right. Independently. They had a big ass. You go in a porn room, boy. I remember when I turned 18. That's my first place we went. I, actually, when I was young, I used to run in there. with Before I get kicked out, I used to run in the porn room. Right, Look right. at all the dicks and pussies and, <laughs> and just laugh and run out. Right, because when we first turned 18, <laughs> That's one of the first places me and my buddies went was the Lion's Den. Man. Right. Poor oh, ass The Lion's niggas. Den. <laughs> me, me, my best friend. I had a, two best friends, one black and one and a, a white Irish dude, man. Kevin well, O'Donovan, man. That was I, my motherfucking the dude. They Let's always, uh, uh, I be listening to the Blitz, uh, the radio station. Yeah, right. They always got, they always sponsored by the Lion's Den. One of the main sponsors the of Blitz man. is the Lion's Den. Yeah. It's a money, porno man. store. Yeah. At a dildo shop. And they, now that the women is out crazy, that women is the reason why they even going and, you know, to multiply. Well, the women have sex parties. Yeah. It's Dildos. popular. They, yeah. It's popular. Yeah. They always talk about it. Just like they used to have baby showers. First it was baby showers. Then yeah, it was yeah. Tupperware parties. Yeah, yeah. Now they said, the hell with the Tupperware. We're getting dildos. dildos. We're having dildo parties. Yeah, yeah. yeah they call it toy parties. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And everybody's cool with that shit, Damn man. Damn right. Look at the they bitches drooling. They have work on the bitches get together. And See, he testified. Damn right. Damn right. He just testified. He said they have them at work. And they tell, they, everybody. They be bringing their shit in and one Showing bitch it running. So it was like chapstick, but you rub it on your, your nipples. It'll make your nipples. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? And or I read about that shit. She had to spray that. She sprayed her throat with. Right. So she could deep throat without. Oh shit. Make her shit numb or something? Yeah, so they can deep throat numb it up. Yeah. Exactly. Plus, my dude had bought this kind of spray on your dick and his, he caught, fucked the girl. He caught some committee or some shit, man. Oh shit. You fucked this shit up. <laughs> but that's you know, crazy. You don't, that ain't naturally spraying no chemicals on your dick and your whole dick hole, man. And the bitch who hold the party getting paid. They all right. Because they, they, they selling shit. At the, just like they used to sell the, uh, the Avon and the Tupper and the Avon. Mm -hmm. That used to be the old hustle. Yeah. Now it's all about hustling shit, dildos. Avon still got it going on. Yeah, they, they still be hustling yeah. the Avon. Yeah. Mary Kay. Mary Kay. Oh, yeah, Mary Kay. Because both of them got the, they get the top seller of actual blue Cadillac, man. Actual blue Cadillac. Damn. They making money, man. Top sellers. Bitch is always hustling it. You see them around Columbus every once in a while. They're pink Cadillac. Look at that pink hair. He's just talking about pink and there goes some pink hair. Right, right. Yeah. Cute bitch, too. I can be a pink hair bitch. I don't mind bitch. Hair, I'm different. What, all these, you know, look, I don't mind that. None of these women are clean. <laughs> so don't think you out here gonna get you a pretty clean princess. <laughs> right, right. So so if you get a freaky bitch, hey, that might be all you can get. You better take what the Lord gives you. Damn right. And be grateful. Be grateful you got any pussy at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you have to tell that bitch she got to wash better, man, tell yeah, her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She don't mind hearing that. Because then you got a lot of cock blockers too. Like, you, you can't fuck her. She, she, she's not following the Lord and uh, <laughs> That's a cock blocker. Don't fuck, it's my business who I'm fucking. Yeah, you. yeah. Who my? Well, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Right, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because our our main woman is this truth. That's right. We don't really care about these women. Oh, they can't relate to that. They can't relate to that. They can't relate to that. Mm -hmm. But you know, you we fucking your Bible now. We say something stupid like that. Oh yeah, but we're not homosexuals. But a woman is not the top of our top priority. They actually are low on the list of priorities. And they get lower and lower on the list the older I get. The more understanding you get? Yeah. 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 I, know, I had sex before. I know what it feels like. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, why you get all hot, buffed up and all hot over some loose pussy? Some loose ass. <laughs> yeah, we'll go fuck around and catch some HPV or something. <laughs> yeah, you be all worried about having sex and you finally get with a woman and then she gives you something. You wake up the next morning, you'll take a piss you dripping all over yourself Ooh. you got the drips now dick glue to the D dick <laughs> to, the, to the blanket <laughs> shit burning you know because that's all my brother used to talk about how the dick would be pus and drip oh. all night long and the, you know the pus dry and the dick be glued to the sheets man started shaping. you know you have i'm telling you go around these motherfuckers i know man 
just listen to the shit they say, man. And ain't no shame in their game. They don't understand they, they foolish, man. Talk about their dicks being. One boy nigga I grew up with talk about how his dick smell like fish. Oh, man. What the I'm fuck you talking to motherfuckers like that for about your dick? I got motherfuckers always talking.